I'm David Alderton, editor of Practical Reptile Keeping magazine, and I'd like to welcome you to this video on hibernating your tortoise safely. Hibernation is often a worrying time for many tortoise owners, but if you do it by following a careful sequence of steps, you really shouldn't have any problems, and it will actually benefit your pet because it will be part of its natural cycle. Having said that, there are only four tortoises that you can hibernate safely, and these are the Mediterranean ones, the Mediterranean Spurthide, the Hermann's tortoise, Horsfield's tortoise, and the Marginated tortoise. In the wild, particularly the Horsfield's tortoise, will spend some months asleep every year. So, the first thing you need to do is to get an idea of your tortoise's condition. And it's very hard to do that just by picking it up and deciding whether you think it's a bit heavier than it was last week. The only way you can do that is by weighing it regularly. And this should be part of your management plan through the year. So I would suggest that every two weeks, every month, you weigh your tortoise and note that down and keep a record. And once you've got the length of your tortoise in millimetres and its weight in grams, you're ready to go online to find out how it is shaping up in terms of the possibility of hibernating your pet safely. If you have a Horsefields tortoise, then look for the McIntyre ratio. And if you have a Hermans or a Mediterranean Spurthide, then you need to find the Jackson's ratio. As a backup to your check on the ratio though, it's still worth making an appointment to visit your local reptile vet who can check your tortoise over just to see there's no un other underlying health problems that could give rise to issues during the hibernation period. There's two basic ways of hibernating tortoises and this is the first one which is known as the box method and basically what you need is a fairly robust cardboard box and put some air holes around in the interior. The other thing to bear in mind is to make sure that the bottom of the box is secure, check the tape underneath and reinforce it as necessary. When you're picking the box, try and choose a box that will match the size of your tortoise quite closely. What you want is for your pet to settle down and go to sleep. About four to six weeks before your tortoise is ready to hibernate, you need to prepare your pet. And you do this by putting the tortoise in an enclosed area where the temperature is approximately 12 degrees Celsius. And that's really important because it enables gut function to continue rapidly, relatively, so that any undigested food that's within the tortoise's digestive tract will be passed out of the body but don't offer any food during this period because you want the digestive tract to be empty. So there's no food that can putrefy, go bad in the gut over the winter period. But, and critically, make sure that there is plenty of drinking water available and let your tortoise drink as much as it wants through this period because you do want to maintain its level of hydration over the winter. When it comes to getting your tortoise to settle down, it's, you can use a variety of materials for this. It, plain paper is very good, it's quite insulating, and the tortoise can bury down into that, give it space so that it can settle down and, and create its own nest. And as I say, it will have the air holes here, then you can fold the flaps over like that, and that's stage one accomplished. What we're doing here is putting the box containing the tortoise inside a larger box with space around it. And the idea for this is to try and improve the level of insulation. With the top of the box sealed, leave some space there. With your tortoise in the box, you then want to find a snug, dry, secure place, free from the risk of any rodents or foxes gaining access, where your pet can spend the winter. And for many people that will be a shed. It's not a good idea to use a garage where there could be car fumes and other noxious chemicals within the enclosed environment. So 
Although the double box method has been used for quite a while, the risk is that the temperature could either drop too low, in which case that exposes your tortoise to the risk of frostbite and other hazards, or the temperature could rise too high and so your tortoise doesn't sleep properly and uses up too much of his or her fat stores during the period of hibernation. As a result, people have now come up with another method. And this is actually a much more dependable and reliable method. You follow exactly the same stages as I've shown you to get your tortoise ready for hibernation in its box as before. But this time, instead of using a second box, what you need to do is to, rather strangely, put your tortoise in a fridge. And the reason for that, I will explain, obviously, is that it gives you a very stable temperature. You're looking for a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius as being the optimum, and you can set a fridge for that purpose. It's also quite easy to find um, relatively cheap fridges. Once your tortoise is in the fridge, what you need to do then is to open the fridge door five or six times a week, just to refresh the air and to check there's no obvious problem, which there shouldn't be. The difference between hibernating using the box method and hibernating using the fridge comes towards the end of the hibernation period because what will happen naturally using the box method is that as the temperature rises, as winter comes to an end, so your tortoise will become more active as the temperature warms up. Whereas, of course, in the fridge, temperature will remain constant. When your tortoise wakes up, it will probably be showing interest in roaming around. That's the time that you then need to start giving your pet shallow, warm baths because the tortoise will have got quite dehydrated during hibernation. And being dehydrated, it's not really going to have that much interest in food. So warm baths and offer food at this stage that has a high water content. Don't worry so much about the nutritional side, something that the tortoise will enjoy eating. So cucumber, even dare I say a bit of green lettuce, uh, just to get your tortoise eating again. Don't worry if your pet appears to have had a problem with his eyesight in that he snaps at food but doesn't actually take it into his jaws. That's quite normal. The eyes are just realigning, the whole system's coming back to, to function again. And, and the tortoise will be eating quite normally um, within a day or so under those circumstances. The key thing is that your pet is starting to express interest in food again. Yeah, it's really, really key to get your tortoise eating so it puts on weight as soon as possible once the new season is here because it's that weight that they put on early in the year that helps to sustain them through the next hibernation period. People often worry about when they should first hibernate a tortoise and whether in fact it's essential. Well, in most cases, tortoises can be hibernated from a year old, assuming everything else is fine, uh, for about three weeks and then double that up to six weeks from their second birthday onwards. So if you work on that basis, it means that the tortoise gets the benefit of hibernation in as much as the temperature goes down, rather than being kept at a constant temperature throughout the year. So a maximum period of 10 weeks for a tortoise that is three years or older is recommended and it doesn't have to be as long as that but having said that if for any reason you have a young tortoise or an older tortoise that needs to be kept awake your vet thinks that's the way to go don't worry it won't suffer any ill effects whatsoever from that <laughs>